Hey guys, so I want to say welcome to vlogging with Sandra Scott. Um, this is going to be my first vlog video and I just kind of want to introduce myself and kind of give you guys some uh, insight on who I am and why I am interested in vlogging at this point. I just feel that I have a lot of information to share. I know everybody probably feels like they have some information to share, but um, with my experience in so many different um, things that I've dabbled in in my life, I just feel like sometimes like it's great to share that information. Um, so I just said, hey, why don't, you know, uh, I was talking to a friend actually, and she was like, you, you should really get into blogging. You know, that's something that um, people are doing now and they do really great with it. So, um, I normally like to write a lot and share my thoughts in writing, but um, I think I'm probably better able to convey my message um, through a video vlog. So um, here I am. All right. So um, in, in my vlogs, I'm going to talk about things in relation to um, losing my husband, uh, my businesses, uh, Scotch Transportation Logistics. Lashes Deluxe and Yellow Closet, um, my kids, um, surgery, travel, food, um, all of those things. So um, if there's anything that you guys want to maybe have me give you some information about, definitely shoot me a message. Say, hey, let's talk about this, Sandra, or give me some insight on this. Um, say to, hi to my husband in the back there um you guys see my gold urn that's justin um for those of you who may not know um i lost my husband on october 27 2019 it's been over a year um it was a tragic accident um work related accident and um yes he was cremated um lots of people always ask me about well why um why did why did you have your husband cremated well um kind of talk about that in this video um justin was cremated because that's something actually he decided long before this accident happened that that's something that he wanted to do um we always talked about those things he always said hey if something ever happens to me i want to be cremated i don't care what anyone says that's what I want to have done. So that's what I want you to do. And so um, it was a hard decision because I'm like, do I disregard his wishes or do I do what he asked of me? And he always told the children as well, hey, if something ever happens to me, tell, you make sure you tell your mom that I want to be cremated. And so, um, that was something that, uh, you know, kind of went back and forth on. Um, but I knew rightfully so, it would be no more than right to honor his wishes and do what he requested. And I just feel like I have him with me always, definitely in my home. Um, and so, um, here, here I am, um, here we are. So. Um, he's with me, so if you ever come in my home and you want to know what that is, that's what it is. Um, yes, there are ashes that are still there. I never have sprinkled his ashes anywhere. I know, like people say often, um, you know, well, you, if you ever go somewhere, you should travel and you should um, spread their ashes as you go. And I just kind of decided that that's not something I want to do. Um, I even have a little small, smaller um iron that has some ashes in it as well maybe that's something i'll do one day but um until then i mean that's that um people talk about uh death and um and that's something also that i want to kind of share in my vlogs um talking about my experience with losing my husband um i know um people look and say you know gosh sandra you know, you're very strong. I see you moving along. I see you, you know, getting on with life. You are moving right along, but you just don't understand when you go through.